We're here on McGinnis Street, uh, September 14th. Uh, it's about quarter to 12 in the afternoon. Over on this side is Zavarella's construction, and of course, uh, if we go to this side of the fence, you can see where they put in their silt fencing. And of course, we've got numerous pictures of it breaching on that side. Uh, the interesting thing with these silt fences, a lot of the times, these uh, silt fences are put down and then they're not anchored or drove into the ground at all and then everything just blows underneath them anyhow. But here you get to see the idea of the ruts made from the erosion of the water just flowing down and yesterday it was flowing down here like a, a river. Uh, I think we believe we showed everybody that and uh, of course it just goes down, it bypasses and it goes underneath the silt cloth at times and when it doesn't it just collapses it. Uh, I don't know. The, controls are just poor and of course you see the ponds in the background here and if you look you can see that the uh, one pond the top pond is almost at its capacity to roll over into the second pond so we're a little concerned that that's going to breach now but I mean there's so many breaches in so many areas that I mean it's almost become impossible and uh, hard to narrow it down to uh, where you need to fix it all needs to be fixed and everything needs to be uh, they need to do a huge assessment of what's happened here what's going to happen in the future and how they're going to remedy this because this is ridiculous this is not the I uh, this is not sustainable development I wouldn't call sustainable development anything that destroys ecosystems along its way and again here's the ruts like look at that <coughs> anyhow that's McGinnis Street. The uh, Zavarella project is off to our left and over here are our sediment ponds.